Hi everyone, myself Dr. Vinod. Whenever you come across the word Tesla, most of us will think about the electric car brand name Tesla. Only few of us might think about the scientist Nikola Tesla who invented alternating current which we use in our day to day life. You might wonder what is the relation between Nikola Tesla and medical field. He had contributed many inventions to medical field. To be precise, a single department is thriving mainly on his contributions and each and every department are dependent on that particular department. So what are his contributions? Let me explain in this video. The department I earlier mentioned was radio diagnosis or radio imaging. X-ray is one of the most commonly done investigation in each and every department of medical field. As we all know, X-rays were invented by W.C. Ranjan in 1895 and he was awarded Nobel Prize later. But most of us don't know the fact that Nikola Tesla invented X-rays seven years earlier than W.C. Ranjan and that time the name he given for it was Shadow Graph. But due to a fire accident at his laboratory, he had lost all of his research data. Immediately within six months after invention by W.C. Ranjan, Tesla wrote a letter to Ranjan along with his own Shadow Graph. That's what he named earlier for that. So along with that, he attached the proofs to W.C. Ranjan that he had already invented it, but he does not want to claim his invention and he also appreciated Ranjan for his efforts. Did Tesla quit his research regarding X-ray radiation later? No. Within next two years, he published 10 articles regarding X-ray radiation. He is the first person to document the biological hazard of X-ray radiation. He found that the X-rays when passing through the human body do some changes at the molecular level. He reported in that article that he and his colleagues when exposed to X-rays while working, they had continuous eye irritation. But whenever they have increased the distance between them and the machine or while using aluminum seals, this eye irritation was very much reduced. So he was the first person to document the biological hazards of X-ray radiation. The second contribution I am about to discuss is also to the same department, radio diagnosis. It is MRI, Magnetic Resonance Imaging. MRI scans are becoming like a pride to a scan center. Once you enter a scan center, you will see big banners mentioning that they have a MRI machine of 1.5 or 3T. In that T stands for Tesla. Does it mean that Tesla invented MRI machines? The answer is no, but he is one of the two scientists who invented rotating magnetic field which is used in MRI machines. So to honor his efforts, they named the SI unit of magnetic influx density or magnetic induction as Tesla. Most of the MRI machines used routinely are 1.5 Tesla size. but Three Tesla machines are now becoming very popular because they are more precise and less time consuming. Third contribution, Tesla coils. These coils can generate high frequency and high voltage electric current. This current is called Tesla current. Tesla current is used in many medical instrument. One is diathermy. Whenever you go to a physiotherapist for back pain relief or shoulder pain relief, they will apply a heat using an instrument known as short wave diathermy. This short wave diathermy is based on the prototype called long wave diathermy which uses Tesla coils. Second contribution in this instrument is electric cautery which is used in every major surgery. It is a pen like instrument used for cutting the tissues during surgery with minimal blood loss and also for blood vessel coagulation. Fourth contribution, ozone generator. Tesla's ozone generators which uses ozone as a medium for disinfection and sterilization of surgical instruments. This ozonization is also used for purification of water. Other than these four contributions, there are more contributions made by Tesla to the medical field. As much as we have learnt about Edison, we didn't read much about Tesla. The reason being, Tesla didn't patent many of his inventions. To make it in a single sentence, Tesla is a real scientist. On the other hand, 
Edison is mere a businessman. If you find this video useful, do like and share. Thank you.